Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's episode, we're gonna give you guys the top five easiest guns to use or top five noob-friendly slash beginner-friendly guns. So before we start this video, I wanted to mention that all these guns can be purchased for lower-end players either in the credit store or you can grind them out. And I'll show it to you guys at the end of the video to make sure. So make sure to watch until the end of the video because for sure, for sure, you get all of these guns in store and they're not gonna be paid to win. There's a few factors that influence what's on this top five. First of all, it's gonna be how easy it is to use. So basically how easy to recoil. And the second factor is gonna be how forgiving it is. So if you potato a lot of shots, will it be able to still kill a few people? Now, before we start this list, let me know in the comments down below, what is your number one favorite easiest gun to use? And you guys might have the same as mine. So let's go ahead and start this video right off the bat. So we're gonna go to loadout. This might shock you guys, but the number five or the fifth easiest gun that you can use is the ICR. It has probably the lowest, if not the lowest recoil of all the guns on this list. However, what it does lack is, is damage. But as a beginner, it's always really hard to control the recoil. So with this gun, you'll be able to shoot people from medium to long to even close range. However, you might not win every single close range fight, but for sure you'll win the medium to long range fight. This has 30 mag with extended 38. So yes, you don't have as much bullets as some of the other guns on this list, but you will be able to still hit those long range fights. And being a potato like myself, having the no control over the recoil is probably one of my hardest things. So being able to control the recoil with this ICR, which I see a lot of people been using a lot more in like pro plays. So I, you know what? I made a video about that. If you guys want to check that out, I'll probably put a card on that. But this gun is the fifth easiest gun to use. It is definitely probably the most user friendly when it comes to recoil. Now, if we can talk about the number two, a lot of people might be a little shocked by this. It is one of the most popular gun in ranked right now. It is the BK40, I was gonna say 47, but 57. People are probably like, why is this not higher? The only downside to this gun is the recoil is kind of hard to control when it goes to like medium to long range. And as a, new, a beginner player or a new player, you won't be able to maybe hit those medium to long range shots. However, what it lacks in, in, in stability, it has in extra mag. It has 35 base mag up to 43. So you're able to potato a few more shots and still win gunfights. And it has a really good rate of fire. So if you miss a few shots, you're still able to hit the next few shots. And it does decent amount of damage. So whenever you're fighting medium to close range, you're gonna win those a lot of times, especially if you are a potato. And we do see this a lot in, I'd say rank, but even in the pro tier, even prior to the buff, this would probably be one of the best gun in this season, but for beginner, it's gonna be our fourth ranked one. And our next gun right here is probably gonna be also surprising to a lot of people. It is the best gun of the season, not the best gun of the season, but the best SMG this season. And it is gonna be none other than the RUS. So I am using the RUS Viking, but basically the base one is my favorite instead. I just have it because I had the skin, but the RUS Viking is a very, very good gun. The only reason it doesn't beat these next two is because it does have slight stability issue to medium to long range. And, the, and the, I guess the bullet size or the magazine size is not as great as the other. Uh, I mean, actually, the top gun, the other SMG that I'm sure you guys can predict at this point. But it has a great rate of fire. It has stability, a very good stability, medium range to to short range. The long range is not so great, but you're able to still able to shoot long range shots, which is pretty huge with this gun. It's basically like an AR. However, you will lose gunfights against most of the other SMGs, so that's the downside. However, it is fairly easy to use, especially for people who are newer to the game, who are really hard to get recoil. And all these guns, like I mentioned, you can buy them all off the credit store for super cheap, or if not, you can unlock them. I actually have like a bunch of them that I'll show you guys afterwards, but the RUS, probably one of the best guns to use if you're really good at the game, but for beginner-wise, it's gonna be my third rank one. And honestly, it could be close with the second one, but the second one will be probably by far, I'm sure you guys will agree with me now. If you go to number two, it's been one of the most popular guns in rank in previous seasons. It hasn't gotten buffed or nerfed. It got nerfed like early, but hasn't got buffed or nerfed recently. So by default, it's still a very solid gun. However, it's not being played as much, in my opinion, in rank or in the pro scene. It is gonna be none other than the AK-117. The AK-117 is the trusty, reliable AK, as we call it. Basically, the recoil is very, very reliable. Not as good as the the um, the ICR, but the damage output makes up for it. The, the, the magazine side is gonna be a little lower than the other guns here. It's gonna be 30, a base you know, base for the other ARs, up to 38, but 
It does have good damage, it does have good range, and it also has good, you know, rate of fire. So you'll be able to potato a few shots, it's a little more forgiving, and also you'll be able to kill a lot of people from medium and long range. Literally, when I was starting on my free-to-play account, this was the gun that I was using, and I was able to grind all the way to, like, master on using this gun as well as the BK. Now, the only downside to this one gun is that it will lose those close-range fights. So you're not able to maybe win it compared to some other ARs. Like you'll lose to the BK, the ASM, or even the Mana War. But you'll be able to laser people from like medium to long range, which is absolutely amazing. And I do use the, as you guys see, this is what I'm, the classes I'm using, the attachments. But definitely by far, I think this is the number two. And before we go into our number one, which I'm sure you guys could predict, we're going to have a few honorable mention. Some that just barely missed the list. So the M4 is the gun that everybody gets. So it's definitely a good one to grind with. However, the, I don't know, like it's, it's, I was comparing it to the ICR and the ICR just felt so much better for beginners because the M4 has good recoil, but the damage is kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it when I was playing. I think it's just the rate of fire that felt a little slower than the, the ICR. I just, I just couldn't put it on the list because I was, was, I was really debating either ICR or the M4 because the M4, everyone literally gets it, but when I was playing the ICR, I just felt so much easier to use and being a potato as myself, the ICR for sure, for sure, for sure, it's better than the M4. Just because, I don't know, like I, I just feel like the M4's damage is good, but the recoil is a little bit worse than the ICR. Not a little bit, quite quite worse than the ICR that makes it not as good as the other gun. And then we also had the LK, and it was between the LK or the BK, but the BK's extra mag is just, it's too much to not have on the list because being a beginner, or any player that's newer to the game or hard to control recoil, having the extra five bullets is huge because you can potato a few more shots and also still win the gunfight. So the BK is really good. So I put the BK into the LK. The LK is basically amazing. It's it's really good damage, good recoil. So that was my two option that didn't make it to the list. Obviously we can talk about like, sh we're not gonna talk about guns like the, um, the guns that you can't get right? We didn't talk about the HBR, we didn't talk about the KN, we didn't talk about the GKS. Those are guns that you can't get if you're a newer player, but these guns are all guns you can get in the store, which I'll show you guys after we reveal the number one that we have here. For our number one, it is probably the first SMG you get in the game, probably by day two. It's none other than the PDW. The PDW is by far, in my opinion, the best beginner friendly, if not, what's it called? Beginner friendly or easy to use gun. Not only is it the fastest kill time for any SMG within five meters, if you guys don't believe me, you should check out Hawksnest's site, hawksnest.gg. He has the whole analysis on that site, but a PW will laser. It has fairly good recoil control as well as 50 mag. I believe it goes up to 58 if you have the, um, the extended mag, but 50 mag makes it so that you can shoot two, three people and still have missed a few shots to be able to get a few kills. It has great mobility, which is, I guess, not very important for newer players because let's be honest, newer players, their mobility is not that great. But this is by far the best gun that you can use if you are a beginner. You, you get it literally at the beginning of the game. Like day two of logging in, you get the PDW zombie. It doesn't have an ability, but you can eventually unlock an ability. It has gr great damage as well. So definitely good rate of fire. Hands down, I don't I don't think, I mean, you can maybe argue with the RUS, but I think as a beginner, I'd much rather have a PDW than the RUS. And that's literally what I was using to go from my free to play account all the way to master three. I literally used the PDW, my, my three guns were PW, BK, ICR, I don't have the ICR, it was the PW, BK, and the AK-117, and the RUS, depending on the scenario, but by far, the PDW. Now, just to show you guys that these are guns that you can get in the credit store, we're gonna go ahead and go to the store and show you guys what we have in the credit store. So, to show you guys, you can get the M4, but everyone gets that. The PW Frontier, you can get that as well. You can get the ICR, I've already bought it. You can get the AK-117. You can get the, uh, there's a BK, it's a green one, however, it's not a blue one, so sadly you won't be able to get a blue one, but you can actually get BK skins every every so on and so forth. And then you can get an LK here as well, and finally you can get the RUS. These are all guns you can get. Basically, it's free to play. You can get these all free to play. It is the top five guns that you can use and you will be able to move up to the ranks super easily because you're able to control these guns. Don't be trying your shotgun kills like I am doing right now. Don't be hitting your snipes like Bobby's hitting his snipe. Those are not guns that are gonna be really easy to use. You can practice them every once in a while, but these five guns will be the top ones. All right, let me just give you guys my top five again and then we're gonna end the video. So here we go. 
in fifth place. We have the ICR in fourth place. We're gonna have the BK in third place. We're gonna have the RUS in second place. We're gonna have the AK117. And finally, the number one best gun to use as a beginner or easiest to use is gonna be the PDW, hands down. It's my opinion. Obviously, if you guys disagree with me, let me know in the comments down below. So that's going to be it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget, again, to let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with my list or not. If not, let me know what is your favorite, easiest to use gun in the game. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I've been posting daily for the last 12 days. I even double upload sometimes. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.